I'm going to the store. Good heaven! What happened here? I got mad last night. You, come on. I'm sorry, Grandma. Well, Daddy, why didn't you call me at work? I didn't want to call anybody. I just wanted to be mad. And by the time it was over, it seemed kind of late to be calling. grounded until I graduate? No. I broke a lot of your things. Yes, I can see that. Did it help? Not really. The police station called. They said they had arrested a guy on suspicion of rape and they wanted me to come down and look at him to see if I recognized anything. Why didn't you call me? I don't know. It doesn't matter because I couldn't identify him. They're never going to find this guy, Graham. He got away with it. Oh, Elizabeth, my dear. Uh, you know, I, I probably can't say this right. I mean, I this is probably the absolute wrong thing to say, but... Never mind. I couldn't do it your way, Graham. Darling, that's not what I was going to say at all. I, I would like nothing better than to see this monster caught. But when criminals like this aren't caught, darling, I honestly don't think it's over. I think God takes care of them. And if someone were going to lower the boom on me, I would much rather it be man than God. Well, God, if you're listening, I hope you get this guy good. Oh, my dear. Careful. You know, ever since, uh... Well, ever since the night that you accidentally stabbed Lucky, I've been wanting to say something to you, and I, I've just never found the right time. Tell me, dear, how... Uh, how are the sessions going with Gail Baldwin? Okay. Would it be inappropriate for me to ever come with you? You mean to sit in? Well, I mean... Uh, I, I mean for us to... Uh, to try a couple of sessions. Uh, you want to discuss what happened to you? Uh, well, I, I think I would like... I would like very much to be there in support of you. I'd love that. Would you? Okay, if I come in? Sure. I completely trashed my room last night. Tore everything apart, smashed some pictures, really did a number. I sort of watched. No. I could tell something was wrong last night. You just, you had a different look in your eyes. I had to come back, make sure you were okay. How long did you stay? Till I was sure you didn't hurt yourself. <laughs> Must have been quite a show. Are you mad at me? I would have done the same thing if it had been you. Has your grandmother seen this? Mm, yeah, she was cool. When you get raped, you get away with a lot of things, you know? <laughs> Tell her about going to the police station for the lineup. Yeah. And that they're never, they're never going to find the guy who did this to me. There's still a chance. 
chance. No, okay. no, there's no chance. You were there. You know that I have absolutely no idea what this... this jerk looks like. I did this all wrong, and now he's gonna get away with it, and he's gonna get away with everything he did to me, and I have to accept it. It's hard, Lucky. It's hard to know that he's not gonna pay for what he did to me. Graham wants to come with me the next time I see Dr. Baldwin. You okay with that? I think it's a good idea. I want to understand how she dealt with her rape. Maybe it'll help me. I mean, something has to. I was convinced that if I was able to confront the man who raped me and tell him what he did to me and see him being punished, that I would get over this and I would get past it. But now that I know that's not going to happen, I mean, the chance of me seeing his face and actually knowing that it's him, I have to give it a look. But I am going to get past this. If I stay afraid, if I spend the rest of my life stuck in what happened on Valentine's Day of my 15th year, then that means that he's won. And I'm not going to let that happen. Dr. Baldwin says that I just have to keep doing the work. I want to heal. I want to move on. Then you will. I know you.